We had talked about the local Volterra competition equations, which are just based on the logistic growth models. And then we had talked about developing these zero growth isoclines. So let's see how much you guys remember about that. So what is a zero growth isocline? What does it represent? Survivorship. Kind of the carrying capacity for what? Specific animals in the equation. So let's Organism. take the blue one. So it's really the carrying capacity when you're combining the effects of two species, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the point, I mean technically, mathematically, this line represents all the values of N1 and N2 that would make that equal to zero. So we know that, for example, if there are no competitors for population one, species one, take that away, then uh, this would equal zero when species one is at their carrying capacity. But if they're lower than their carrying capacity, in other words, if N1 is less than K1, they can still be at zero growth if this factor plus this factor adds up to their carrying capacity. And so that blue line represents all the values <coughs> of N1 and N2, that's what these two axes are, all the values, combinations of N1 and N2 that can make this add up to zero. And the red line represents all the values of N1 and N2 that can make this equation equal zero. And if you remember from Thursday, in this specific case where we draw the two lines like that where they don't intersect and the blue line is on top of the red line, what is the ultimate outcome of this competition? Who wins? Who loses? Where on the graph again? No, just what does this graph represent? Who wins, who loses in this in this particular case? It depends on the situation, no? Oh, in D. This particular case. You mean DN1 over who? DT equals zero? Species one or species two? Who wins? One. Species one. Species one. Yes. One. Because their uh, blue line, because K1 is greater than this, K1 over alpha is greater than that. Okay, so this is what we mentioned last time would be an example of competitive exclusion. So in this particular instance, in this environment, for these populations, species one always outcompete species two, and they become excluded from that particular habitat. And we talked about last time that if these two were flipped, so if the red was on top, but then that would represent a case where species two competitively excludes species one.